Hi, my name is Miriam Miller, and I get the privilege of interviewing John Urquiza, and we're going to learn about his testimony, his favorite Bible verse, and his favorite worship song. Hi, John. Hi, Miriam. Uh, so can you tell me how you came to the Lord? Well, I always knew there was a God. I was brought up Catholic, and my mother had her sanctuary, her prayer room down in our basement, where she would regularly pray every morning and night. I thank her for showing me um, the importance of prayer. I also went to Catholic school here in San Jacinto for a couple of years. Um, so to me, being Catholic was more mechanical, up and down, saying a couple of Hail Marys. So, um, and so then, I, but I learned that believing in Jesus Christ is not a religion. It's getting to know our Savior on a daily basis and having an intimate relationship with Him. I was an addict alcoholic for 30 years, and on January 5th, 2005, I exercised my Veterans Administration benefits, and I was admitted to the ATU program, the Addiction Treatment uh, oh. Unit at the Loma Linda University. I mean, Loma Linda VA <laughs> in California. I have been clean and sober since then. In the ATU program, they taught you that you had to have a higher power, even if it was a doorknob. So, um, some somewhere to take your baggage to. I was in the program for 18 months and where I learned about myself, my issues. For about 10 years, I used AA and NA, um, Alcoholics Anonymous and Narcotics Anonymous as my higher power. But then in 2015, um, I started looking. I knew there was more and I knew Catholic, being Catholic was a net. So, like I said, 2015, I started going to San Jacinto Assembly in uh, San Jacinto. And then in 2020, during COVID, um, the church was shut down and we had, then we went back. We had to start going with Mass. So I started looking for another church and I didn't have to look far because my nephew was a deacon at West Valley Bible Church and they were just joining another church, which became Grace Fellowship Bible Church. Yeah. I knew we found a home at Grace, Fel uh, Grace Fellowship Bible Church. I was very attracted to Pastor Kevin and the idea of a older church and a new church joining to spread God's good news. Also, Pastor Kevin had me encounter my service dog <laughs> <laughs> sitting down uh, a security um, ministry for the church parking lot. So, um, all I can say is I thank the Lord for Grace Fellowship Bible Church. Um, GFBC has been such a blessing where I have family and a church family to continue to grow in our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Okay, John, so when was the time you saw God working in your life? I think God is still working in my life. The biggest thing he has worked out is pulling me out of the pit of addictions and planting me here on solid ground at Grace Fellowship Bible Church. Most recently, I've been thinking about how God has blessed me with a service dog, but not just a service dog. Count is more than a dog. He is a child I never had. Um, and I believe the Lord blessed me with him to take care of him, feeding him by making him 30 pound stew every month. <laughs> Um, exercise to him. We go on hikes, bike rides, and fetch ball. <laughs> um, you know, Spanish, English, sign language. Um, it was a blessing to have a therapist at the VA who was a believer also. Um, and in 2021, I had to retire under medical conditions from the Veterans Administration. My therapist, Mandy, uh, started talking to me about a service dog to help me with my issues and um, with my PTSD, anxiety, depression, yeah. and all my other issues. And like I said, Count has been more than a service dog. He helps me get out and about with, um, we do Love Unleash in the neighbor, in the community and then the Good News Club we do during school time with the kids. And of course, the kids here at church, he just loves them to death. <laughs> yeah, um, I honestly believe he, he is heaven sent as I, because when I wake up in the morning, he comes, jumps on my bed. In the evening, I tell him to go to bed, and then I go and tuck him in. Um, Count is trained in medical alert and scent training. Um, I can tell you an instant a couple of years ago where security was giving me a 
Um, hard time about count. Long story short, after about 10 minutes, I was getting mad. Fight or flight was kicking in and he could feel it. And he was sitting right next to me and he pulled me away from the incident. So then I went to my truck and cried and thank God for, for count. Oh, that's so yeah, cheap. He is, he is, um, something. So God has blessed me with the perfect dog for me. And then I heard one of the uh, kids tell her friend that Count is our church dog. So that just melted my heart. He really is. Yeah. So thank you. God. Okay. Um, what is your favorite verse or passage and why? First Chronicles 14 is my favorite one. JB's cried out to the God of Israel, oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory and that your hand be upon me and that you would keep me from evil so I would not cause pain. I like this verse because it has everything in it. Um, he cried out for the Lord to uh, increase his territory, which I believe he does. He has done with this church and with yeah, count and the things we get to do. Um, and at first I thought it was trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. But I say Jabez's prayer every morning and I ask him not to, that I, that would keep me from evil so I would not cause pain. And I ask him every morning to keep me from evil so I would not um, cause pain to him, Father, the Holy Spirit, myself, or anybody else. Yeah. So, um, and fear the Lord. Um, so that's about it <laughs> I love that because it's not like a super common Bible verse right so. it's one that's in the middle of Chronicles that nobody knows yeah. and there's a little booklet I've never heard it, it so. yeah yeah that's so cool. okay so what's your favorite worship song or hymn and why my favorite worship song is for King and Country Shoulders it came out in 2015 at the same time i was being saved by our lord uh, talks about how god carries my weakness my sickness my brokenness all on his shoulders and i honestly believe that the lord has been with me my entire life in my addictions he was carrying me on his shoulders during the good and the bad the song also talks about not having to believe him not having to see to believe the lord has blessed me in so many ways that i don't have to see to believe it that he's working all things out for his glory even in hard times he's teaching us something also in 2018 i had the privilege of holding um the united states flag at harvest crusade really um me and a bunch of veterans that's awesome we held the Ameri giant american flag and king and country was there so Actually? they played yeah so they played that song cool. so it was really it's all been god sent that's all i have you know, it's him yeah. the whole time. I love that song. 